shared it. Should have, should have posted. No. No. Alright, dang. But that doesn't isn't the link. No. No. So I had to copy and paste. The link. Oh, I have to. I'll go in and actually add a link or edit the post. It's, it's, that's kind of disappointing. My connection is unstable. Try this from my phone. Your connection is unstable. So technically it's a link. It's not a link to copy that, close that in the comment, add a link. This should be an actual link. Now there are three warm bodies. Well, one of them was new because I was testing it. All right. Mommy, yes, I love it. Snuff oh, that looks like the Union Jack. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Oh, uh, someone just asked me for the link. Oh no. Who asked you for the, <laughs> who, who asked you for the link? <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, position myself so I'm roughly center, but then I also notice that I lean back and then you peek out from the side. Is that a bad thing? No, no. Am I ruining your shot? No. Your, your moment of glory? Oh yeah, this is a glorious moment. Glory. <laughs> um, I don't know what it sounds like. I don't know what the audio quality is like. I can go to the other room and check. Yeah, if you could. Just need to check to see if there are so custom emojis not using those. It's definitely me. Alright. Yeah, that sounds all right. Now I've got five people connected yeah. and a like. We're not even probably starting yet. No. Six people. People are tuning in. I feel like Joe Wicks. So I've got six whole people. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Seven and two likes. Oh, my, my stock is going up in the world. I should uh, I should get into finding out about uh, turnip codes. <laughs> I lied. I'm not shaving. You're just going to be tuning in to watch me play on my phone for about 15 minutes. Can you do a Joe Wicks exercise right now? Um. Oh, I'll try. <gasps> Like Spider Man. <laughs> Good afternoon. I don't know 
know if that's gonna work. What? Oh, there it is. My Joe Wicks <laughs> exercise stamina needs work. Why am I typing that back? I could just oh, say no, it. Just... <laughs> and narrating it at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's well, good. You know what <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a professional. <laughs> I sort of did do, uh, I, it would have looked more like a Joe Wicks exercise if I had a fireplace and an Essex accent. I think imp what I should do though is, is uh, very quickly get a, a thing of nails and then put, uh, it'd be on this side, put, uh, put a ukulele up on the wall back there. <laughs> Because Joe Wicks is all about the electric guitars, and I'm much more of a uke person. All right. Um, it is now 2 p.m. Interested parties will probably uh, watch this at some other point. Oh, great. My wife is widely sharing this link. So in the event that you have uh, anything you wish to contribute, I can, I can read the chat right now. My computer is very special and won't let me type into the chat very easily, but then I can talk. So there's something. Um, I hope that all of you are, are staying healthy and isolated and socially distancing. Uh, and if you're in the United States of America, definitely socially distance, especially from anybody who voted Trump. I'm supposed to keep these sorts of things apolitical, but uh, anyway. Um, this is the big show. This is the, you know what I should have done in advance of all this? I should have plugged in the, the, uh, the stuff that I was going to use to actually make my face melt. Just bear with me a moment. So, I have some, some tripper, trimmers. They are, they are mains powered trimmers, as you can tell. I thought I figured I needed something heavy duty to do with this. When I, uh, I visited um, Rob Eden in, uh, in Lincoln to get the beard trimmed about a month and a half ago, and he said that it was uncharacteristically thick underneath, and I think it's mostly just that it, it spins in on itself um, like a black hole, basically, sucking everything in. So this I'm going to be using to make this disappear. Um, and then I've got this, which I'll be opening to use alongside this for the, the baby face finish in advance of, of the third stage of this enterprise. Um, so as far as the, the ridiculous, please vote for where you'd like to see me go, um, We'll get to that in a moment, actually, because the main thing that I wanted to say is we're at 900 pounds raised for Joe, Jay, and Darcy. And I feel a little bit guilty because I keep saying Joe, Jay, and Darcy as though Finn doesn't exist. But anyway, Joe, Jay, and Darcy, they get, they get 900 pounds and Finn gets diddly. Um, I'm amazed that you guys uh, have donated anything at all. Uh, and that there are now 12 people who are watching me natter endlessly at a camera. Um, yeah. So, but you didn't come here to hear me ramble endlessly. What you did do is come here to watch my wife crochet for a moment while I go press a button. What button are you pressing? I have no idea what it's doing. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I was uh, I was turning on the kettle. Oh. Okay. Could have just done that from here. I suppose I could have, but I didn't want to show off that we have an Alexa because people will think that we're part of some sort of like dystopian cult. All right. It, it, occasionally, because it, I, I'm, I'm monopolizing the, the sitting room, you'll see my wife in the background. She's sitting crocheting on the couch. Uh, I might have <laughs> pulled upon her at some point. But uh, as far as the voting went, um, 
the two places that we're going on our on our journey from from this to uh, to egg are um, Logan from X Men and uh, Doctor Whiteface from Discworld, uh, the head of the uh, Guild of Fools. Which is fair enough. Um, I just need to make sure I get my picture of Logan up so I can see roughly what's to happen to this face. And I'll get started on that in just a moment. So. Did you know that if you type in X-Men into your Google search, you don't actually have to spell X as an E-X. You can just type the letter X. In fact, you just type Wolverine, you're gonna get there anyway. No, I have to interrupt. Uh -oh. My mom's asking me what I'm crocheting. It's sort of a a sleeve to scarf thing that was supposed to be for me, but is way too small, so it fits Astrid. So I'm just finishing up the second sleeve. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to wear an old sheet, like I'm going to the barber. And it's not actually going to do anything. No, it's going to be a giant mess. So it's still be a giant mess. So, but uh, it'll be a different sort of giant mess. At least I would wear this if I if my alligator clip could work properly. There we go. I like to live dangerously. Okay. This is gonna make people cringe. I should probably use scissors first, but let's just see what happens, okay? Um, here's my picture that I'm going off of. <laughs> okay, I'm really scared now. <laughs> Look at that! It started! It started! No going back! <laughs> oh, if only Ambrose Beardside, Burnside had won, I'd be, I'd be, be done now. Goodness, there's actual chin in there. Look at that. <laughs> if, anybody, if any of you know where I happen to live, please send drinks. Burnsides would have been brilliant. Look at that. Okay, now Wolverine. This has got to get trimmed down. Uh, I've got some guards I'm going to use for that. I'm going to deal with the mustache as well. By the way, I'm not a professional, so if uh, if you are a professional and you're watching this, I apologize in advance. I'm just uh, I'm just a maniac. Okay. <laughs> we should get some music going too. One of the things that I thought I might do while destroying what was left of my beautiful face is I might share with you some facts because I'm in the process of, of getting rid of this beard. It's only beneficial for you now to find out some fun facts about beards. For instance, the longest beard in history, 17 feet 6 inches. It was a Norwegian guy. He wore it basically over his shoulder, which, I mean, it probably acted like a scarf. 
you know, this look could be brought back. Look at that. In place of a mirror, what I'm actually using is the camera. <clears throat> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Editorializing over there. Okay. I need to move a little more quickly because this is going to be very dull for you otherwise. And you mostly just want to see the result, I'm sure. But. Oh. If you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, feel free to put them in the chat and I will talk towards you. Courtney W. Oh my god, hi. Hi, Courtney W. God, he said my name. Yeah, I did. Say it again, Courtney W. Uh. <laughs> okay. This bit here. I'm almost, I'm almost Logan-esque. I need to Tricky with the light and the shadow and the quality of my rubbish camera here. Chani 101. I don't know who that is at all, but they're saying hello. Hello, Chani 101. Okay. Tighten up the neck a little tiny. I mean, all of that's going to go before too long. So. Got to get get my Logan out of the way. <laughs> What's important to note is that these are not actually face trimmers. It is a look. I don't think I'd recommend it. You could call this PSAG. is looking a little bit too adult. No, that's not bad actually. For a distance it looks a little bit more Wolverine. -y. What do you think, Dominic? Am I gonna shake my head too? Yeah, I'm probably gonna shake my head too. Do we think we're close enough to a Wolverine that we can move on to to the the, the next step? Your beard looks very funny. My beard looks very funny, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, it looks very small. It does. It does look. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, it's, it's really. <laughs> Just a second. 
I have to complete my Wolverine outfit. Mommy, me and Dominic. Um, Mommy, I don't like the cake. You don't like the cake, alright. I guess I was just having to come outside. Go back outside, yeah. I just have the cake. Check it out. Now I'm just like Wolverine. I dirtied three knives for that goof. Mommy, I got the <laughs> I should probably have these turned the other way around, but I just like the curve of them. Anyway. All right. Excuse me, one more moment. I'm just going to get some hot water for the final stages. Oh, never mind. My wife's going to do that. She's very kind. Let's, uh, this, yes, and also on this towel, this sheet. You guys need to go back outside and I'll give you a different story. Yeah, we're, we're bribing the kids to keep them outside so that uh, I'm able to do this. I would love some plastic pigs. Plastic pigs are plastic. I'm sorry to hear that. We, we had the last of the Percy pigs the other day. Okay. Oh, where's my camera? I need to take a picture with my with my claws. That's gonna be a, a Facebook profile picture for a while. I think, if I recall correctly, Wolverine also opted for red plus gold accent nail varnish. I haven't had any weird looks from the post one. Okay, selfie. Bob. On the floor? Yeah, on the floor. Yeah. I, I'm gonna here's here's the picture I was going off of. It's it's like looking in a mirror. Anyway. <laughs> It would have been funnier if I if one of these was a fork, but you know these things. Comedy takes refinement. What can I say? Okay. If I prepared more, this would be this would be going more smoothly. But I think uh, what we've got is what we've got. Goodbye, goodbye, face word, face face hair. Farewell. Thank you. Okay. I barely recognize myself. Now, those of you who are not familiar with the shaving of the face, um, this is not how you do it. This is definitely not the way you do it. But it's a quick way to get rid of all of this long hair. Now, my secret hope was as I got rid of all of this, everything would grow back up here, but that doesn't seem to be happening either. Incidentally, if you are watching this and you haven't donated yet, feel free to pop by justgiving.com slash crowdfunding. Excellent. New eating cake in the background. Slash Mr. Bussa Shaves with a hyphen in between those two words. Put a couple pence in and see what happens. Okay. I'm assuming that we're still only at 900 pounds. I say only because this is ultimately me shaving. We are still at 900 pounds of this one checking. Once I deal with the face, I might ask my darling wife to finish my hair. Yeah. FS in the chat for Mr. Buss's beard. Yeah. I feel bad for the death of the beard. Feel worse because now I'm not going to be able to buy alcohol when I go to the store. They're going to think I'm too young. 
I'm going to get this started just so that it looks really ridiculous. <laughs> side too then I'll be balanced. <laughs> now the rest of this is gonna wait just a moment. I'm gonna look really ridiculous for a bit but I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm soaking some some face cloths in a, some very hot water and I'm going to apply those to my face. Oh, oh, mm. See? Not seeing your face in not like five years. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This would be like that time that Matthew came in and he'd actually shaved and it was like, who is that? Who's that new kid? And uh, Noah said, probably a terrorist. Uh, I shouldn't be throwing sh Stayed on Noah Blevins, he's probably not here. Top kiss is down. I'm not even sure. Guys, I don't think that's what you're going to say when you're eating. Okay. I'm going to be doing that again in a moment. I, just, I wanted to get these, these, these products open. I haven't even properly unboxed them. All I did was. Uh, <laughs> Let's open the box that they came in. Look at this. Brand new Harry Razor travel, travel thingy. Oh, exciting stuff. Okay. Thank you to those of us who are, who are still joining us. Feel free to uh, to laugh and mock me on the internet. I'm, I'm okay with that. If you capture any stills and you turn them into amusing GIFs or GIFs, however you wish to say it, go for it. Five blades, that's right. Five crazy German blades. All right, whoa. So the directions are to put this on your hand and then put it on your face. <laughs> now, if I was doing a proper Dr. White face, which I'll do after this, I wouldn't have used nearly this much um, under normal circumstances, but I thought it would be more entertaining if I really went overboard. Um, plus, let's face it, it's been a few years since I've done this, so let's... Uh, Let's just chalk it up to inexperience or idiocy. All right. Oh, five blades. No waiting. That's a, a nice long drag. People aren't even going to recognize me when I go on the streets. Excellent. Ah, I used to have a beard, guys. There's a precision blade along the top, which they say you should use for things like under your nose. I don't think you guys donated enough for me to shave my eyebrows off. How great would it have been, though, if I'd said, like, yeah, you hit 2,000 pounds, eyebrows off, full body wax, top to bottom. <laughs> top to very bottom. Although then the stream could not have been on YouTube.
I like the, the look here. <laughs> yeah, the half, uh, half head thing. The half head thing. Yeah, excellent. Just leave it like that. Yeah, I should just do half my head shaved. Oh my goodness. There's somebody using a dab emoji. Looking good. One of the facts that I read in preparing for this, because I did do some preparation, contrary to appearances, um, is that uh wearing a beard keeps your skin looking younger i don't know if that's entirely true but if you have a fear of beards you suffer from pagonophobia and if you study beards you suffer from a serious lack of imagination but also um pagonology pug pagano pug can't say it. <laughs> this is a pretty decent razor. Yeah, it looks like it's coming up quite nice. I don't know if I've nicked myself, but there's a smart spot right around my mouth. Silly, but that's not too bad. Okay, so that's not bad. I'll get you some fresh water. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I also did a search for, for beard jokes, um, but unfortunately most of the jokes were just very thinly veiled sexism. Um, and in some time, some cases, not even all that veiled thinly. Now, if you want a super duper take you back to the womb smooth shave, apparently you're supposed to shave a second time going against the grain, but very lightly. So that if you went down, for instance, then you would go up, you know. But I'm not going to the officer's mess so I don't need to do that. Now, I do need to tell a joke. So, saying you have a beard when you don't makes you a bald-faced liar. Nothing, nothing, no reaction at all to that. Oh, oh, there we go, silence. <laughs> okay. Ask her, please sit down while you're eating. Thank you. Now, um, here comes la pièce de résistance. Let's, where's, where's the second stage here? Ordinarily, what you're supposed to do when you finish shaving is you apply some sort of face balm so that your face has a chance to recover. You don't get any clogged pores or anything like that. Uh, the key there is that um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. What I do know is that this is a lot like those adverts where you see people putting on some kind of like face cream thing. <laughs> Apparently YouTube, thank you, John. <laughs> I don't understand why, why it wouldn't support the tumbleweed gif. Um, it is a good gif. Why did I put it on my forehead? Yeah. This isn't, this isn't balm, this is, this is face paint. Oh, right. See, 
what I wanted to do was pretend like I was applying a post shave balm and then just apply the face paint like I was Marcel Marceau. <laughs> but instead, I've had to explain it a little bit. This moment is going to be a lot like as though I'd shaved off my eyebrows. Check that out. <laughs> Voldemort be like, oh God. I was trying to figure out which villain I looked more like. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a, that's a good comment. I would give you reward points, Maya. What's Daddy turning into? He's turning into a monster. A skeleton. No, no, not a skeleton. Just a normal, everyday monster. Uh, is this is this my black pencil? Um, Daddy. Yes, I would love my face painted. You'd love your face painted too. Oh, uh, yeah, see, yeah. a show of solidarity. What color would Daddy like? You want to be a cat. Mm -hmm. Of course she does. Astrid wants to be a cat, everybody. Color me surprised. Okay. I need my picture of Dr. Whiteface so I can make sure that I get... Okay, Dr. Whiteface. Now, the reason why I wanted to finish with Dr. Whiteface is not just because the vast majority of you voted for it, but also I think it's a good time to, to really drive home the gravity of the situation. Wait, that's, that's your company, right? Your company is the secret I don't know that that's going to work. I'm going to have to do this. Um, look, that's the one I'll use. I'll use these things, this brush. I'm a makeup expert, by the way. So all I've done is I've applied some makeup. Um, the kids are playing outside, as you can tell. That'll do. What I hope is that people see this as I'm answering the door later today and think, I didn't know a juggalo lived there. All right, you lot elected clowns to run your governments. Now you're choosing to tune into one messily shaving his face. Yeah, Ooh, it's that one. I'm going to change Tristan's face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want the ladder. I can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, not quite. Oh, I feel like I'm about to be the front person for Kiss. Which is banned that most of my students will not have heard of. <laughs> mm. 
Most of my miming, John, uh, involves hand gestures that I can't make right now in case my boss is watching. <laughs> All right, that's pretty naff. <laughs> oh. It's like, again, the image is, it's fantastic. But here, I'll even, I'll show you what I'm, I'm going off of. It'll be like looking in a mirror again. Well, not for you guys, look at that. How are you, Daddy? How are you, Daddy? Yes, I'm Dr. Whiteface. Astrid correctly identified Dr. Whiteface. She's never read any of the Terry Pratchett books. <laughs> this is my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> I want my face painted, okay. painted into okay. a cat twitch. Right, can you sit down there? I'm, you go outside. I'm pretty sure that here. that's basically it. Right, here. Unless you have questions. I have more jokes. Halloween colors. came early. Oh yes. So, uh, here's a here's a good one. A riddle and a joke all rolled into one. Who shaves ten times a day, and still has a beard? I do you whisper. I am doing whisper. Barbers. Yeah, he's hilarious, isn't he? Daddy. Um. Here's another good one. My friend was looking at an old picture of me without a beard and asked, did you grow a beard? No, I shaved all my photos. I want a purple mouse. You want a purple mouse? No, actually a black. What else? Here's a fun fact, and as much as there are any such things as fun facts about beards. Um, Peter the Great once taxed beards to encourage clean shavenness. And the beard license, uh, the, the beard license read, the beard is a, a useless burden. It used to cost a hundred rubles to wear a beard in Peter the Great's Russia. Okay, that would have been a better fact if I delivered it smoothly. If this were a proper video, I'd have delivered it a few times and it's the best take. Another one, and this is because I am utterly destroyed now. Um, the CIA is alleged to have tried to uh, devise a plan to put poison in Fidel Castro's shoes so that the poison would travel through his body and cause his beard to fall out, thereby ruining his public image. So I've, I've inflicted this on myself, but again, for a good cause. So remember, if you haven't already or you're still interested in doing so, uh, the link, uh, or sort of the website, just giving.com slash crowdfunding slash Mr. Bussa hyphen shaves is going to be open for a little while longer still. So please throw anything you want to down that particular hole. Uh, we're around 900 pounds right now. Haven't looked uh, since we started. I'm not, not assuming anybody's added anything. This is your reward for having uh, paid already. Um, I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little bit sad that I no longer have the beard or the source of power, but I do have a daughter who's now like a cat. That's a really good cat on the fly. Look at that. Okay. And then I have a son. And how's he dressed? Look in the, go look in the camera. You might have to move your, your messy hair out of the way. Crack a thoom, lightning bolt. I see it. Back outside, guys. Okay, back outside. I can't outside. even see the scar. You want me to do it for you? So, well, my son gets his uh, gets his scar redone. I want to thank you again for for sticking through this whole process, uh, for donating, and I want to apologize in advance if in September, uh, if that's when when next I see you in the flesh, um, I have a beard again. The other option, of course, is that I'll just go with this for the rest of my days. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. <laughs>
<laughs> so that'd be a wrap then. Okay. So as for the huge, uh, thank you for, for hanging out. I hope you learned something. We laughed and we loved. What else do we do? Thank you, Martin. Wonderful fundraiser. Bring the beard back in different stages. <laughs> oh, just half, this half of the face gets a beard. This half's going to stay clown face. <sighs> I really wanted to, well, well, with the clown face on, to do some kind of crazy, like, ultra sincere um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much type message. Uh, it means a lot to me. and. Um, I'm not, I'm not joking when I say that type thing, but then just now I've explained that it's a bit of a joke. But thank you so much for those of you who supported and those of you, those of you who've watched, thank you. Uh, and be kind to each other, look both ways before you cross the road, especially if there's somebody with this kind of face behind the wheel. And have a better day. United we stand, apart we fall. Good job, dude.